안녕하세요. 안녕하세요 여러분 유림입니다. 오늘은 사실 그 유로컵 마지막 경기가 있는 날이었어요. 포르투갈이랑 프랑스랑 경기가 있었는데 팬존을 제가 가려다가 너무 늦게 가는 바람에 실패를 했습니다. Uh, well, there was a match between Portugal and France, you know, the Fran Euro Cup is on season right now. And I tried to get into the fan zone around the Eiffel Tower, you know, like friends, French government, I don't know, whoever it is, but like someone like gently made kind of a really cool area for everyone free, which is called fan zone. And I went there once, but I tried to get in there again today, but like people were, there weren't too much people there and it's all the entrance was closed already before the game started and literally all the opening bars were like surrounded by people who tried to watch a game the screen inside the bar and even people like watching inside like some people on house and i don't know <laughs> they were so passionate i guess and well um, so today I prepared just a quick grammar thing, which is what. So here, bu ot, bu ot, bu ot, el, buosel, buosel, or water, bo. 네. and 뭘, 뭘, 뭘. Do you see? 무엇 equals what in English? What? And 뭐 is kind of a contracted form of 무엇. 무엇, 뭐, all same. And you see, 을 and 를, these are object particles. And you know, 을 comes after. Uh, a letter with a vo no consonant here. Xiu in lu is following a letter without vowel. No, 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 without consonant. So here comes u because of xiu, the third, the second consonant here. And lu comes after this word because it has no consonant, no patim. Patim. And again, water, water, this one can be contracted again to bor, bor. So, water, water, bor. They're all just same one. What with object particle. So, I made one sentence with these, which is, what did you do? What did you do? You remember the past tense? 했어요. 했어요. This is, this one comes from the verb 했다 or 하다, which is to do. 하다. And the past tense 했다. 했다. And just make a little change here. Conjugate it. So 했어요. 무엇을 했어요? What did you do? What did you do? 무엇을 했어요? And here the last sentence, you see 뭐, 뭐, which has no object particle. And this means it can be used without object particle. This can be omitted. So, 무엇을, object particle, 무엇을 했어요? What did you do? And also the same sentence, 뭐 했어요? Without object particle, 뭐 했어요? 무엇을 했어요? 뭐 했어요? What did you do? Or you can put some words with like time. 어제 무엇을 했어요? What did you do yesterday? 어제 무엇을 했어요? 어제 뭐 했어요? Or just simply make it without you. 무엇을 했어? 무엇을 했어? Or 뭐 했어? 뭐 했어? Okay, so 무엇을, 뭐를, 뭘. They're all same. Object particle, 
plus what? What plus object particle? 무엇을, 뭐를, 뭘. 무엇을 했어요? 뭘 했어요? 뭐 했어요? What did you do? Okay. So, thank you for watching me again and see you in the next video. Bye.